Good morning, survivors, and how you doing? It is Kraken here, and we're back in Seven Days to Die. And today, we're going to look at how stealth actually works. I've got my testing ground down there. I've got my two little helpers. And today, we're going to look at stealth. There's a lot of confusion about stealth, so let's crack it down. You like what I did there? And see how it actually works. Let's get cracking. So as you can see, I've got my two little helpers right here in front of me, and I've brought up all their stats above them. So we have light, sight, noise, and distance. The most important factor here is the noise factor. Right, here we go then. 15 meters away from the zombie, I'm going to walk my way slowly towards them and see how close I can get before they start detecting the noise from me walking towards them. So let's start going 15 meters and start walking towards them. Right, there we go. There was the first detection there. Bang on, nine meters away from the zombies. Now let's go from side to side. So as you can see, when I move from side to side one step at a time, they don't detect me at this nine meters. But if I go continuously from side to side, the sound starts stacking and that's when they start detecting me. Right, so I've moved myself back here to the 10 meter mark. We were not detected by the noise at 10 meters. It was about a meter in front of this. That's when we first got detected. I'm going to turn the zombie AI on and see if they detect me then. Note that we are in full daylight here. So there's nothing to do with the headlights, anything like that. We're in full daylight here. And you can see that the light meter is right up there as well. So let's turn them on. Right, there we go. So this brings me on to my next point. So as you can see, turn the AI back off of both of the zombies. One though is still staring at a tree and one is right in front of me. This is because of the view angle on the zombies. Every zombie has a view angle of 180 degrees. For the dumb view out there, that's half a circle. So a semicircle in front of you, they can see from side to side and in front. They do not have eyes in the back of their heads. And we know this also with cops and screamers. If a cop can't see you, he doesn't spit at you. If a screamer can't see you, she doesn't scream at you. So that is why one is still just staring at a tree and the other one slowly made his way towards me. So light had no effect on the other zombie because he could blatantly see me if he was facing the other way. Here we go again, 10 meters away this time, and we're going to do this crouching, which brings up that nice little icon on the bottom left hand corner, which tells us absolutely nothing we actually need to know about stealth. So we'll do this again one step at a time. Let's see how close we can actually get to the zombies doing one step at a time. There we go. The guy on the left detected me, the guy on the right didn't, but this is another thing to note that all the zombies are randomized. So that is something to bear in mind that other zombies might be a little bit more sensitive than the other zombies. But how far are we away now? Probably four meters. So half of what we were when we were standing. Right, now we're going to look at the zombies hearing us, detecting us, or while shooting a weapon. So I've got the compound crossbow here, and I'm stood 20 metres away, made ourselves a nice little target there. Let's see if the zombies can detect us 20 metres away. Yep, there we go, distance 19.6, they heard us. We are shooting a block that is right next to their ears, though. so that's one thing to bear in mind. Let's try that now, crouched, see if that makes any difference. 
There you go, crouched. They don't hear us at all. Let's try the same thing, crouched, but 15 meters away. Let's see if the zombies can hear us from here. Still can't hear us. Let's get a little bit, a little bit closer. There we go, about 12 and a half meters away. There we go, 12 and a half meters away, the zombies can hear you when you're crouched down. We could probably get closer if we weren't hitting a block right next to them though, so that is one thing to bear in mind. Also to bear in mind that my character is level 1. Let's put some points into stealth now and see how close we can get then. Right, here we go then, the agility tree. The only perk here that's going to help us is from the shadows. There are some books to look at, and we'll go through those in a second. But from the shadows, in the agility tree, is what is going to help us with our stealth. Now, I'm not going to go and bore you with all the facts of all of these, but basically, each point we put into this is going to allow us to get a little bit closer to the zombies. So let's max out 10 out of 10 in agility and go straight to 5 out of 5. So apparently we're now a shadow ninja. And this says, hide in the shadow 65% more effectively. Noises from actions are muffled by 50% and sneak movement is muffled by 50% faster. Enemies will search for you for up to 20 seconds and then get bored and go back doing zombie kind of things. Right, let's now do these tests once again. We're going to do the walking test, not crouching, middle of the day so it's nice and light. 15 meters away, let's start walking one step at a time and see how close. Last time we got to about 8-9 meters, how close are we going to get this time? There we go, there was the first bit of movement there and that was 6 meters away. So, significant improvement there. Same test again, 10 meters away, this time crouching down. Let's see how close we can get this time, one step at a time, and see how close we can get to these guys. There we go, there was the first bit of detection there, and we've got to be maximum of 3 metres away. Let's try the crossbow again, standing up 20 metres away, which they did detect us last time, hitting a block right next to their ears. Still standing up 20 meters away. They still heard that. So let's now crouch down. And we got to about 12 and a half. So we'll start on about 12 and a half. Let's test that. Right, so this is interesting. 12 and a half meters away. I still detected off the zombies. But this is because we hit the block next to them so no matter how many points you put into stealth and how sneaky you are if you're going to miss your shot and hit the block behind the zombies or next to them you're still going to wake them up because that's what we're actually doing that was me hitting a concrete block which woke them up not me shooting the weapon so 12 and a half meters away let's just shoot one way off into the distance there we go, no detection whatsoever. So it was me hitting the block. So if you're in a confined area and you hit the block next to them because you missed them, you're still going to wake up the zombies. Right, so this one's for the cheap seats in the stadium watching this video. We've now gone to complete darkness and we're going to do the same walking test just to show the light does really not make any difference whatsoever at all so we're going to do it one step at a time walking towards the zombie there we go there was the first detection all lights off at about the same eight meters it was before let's go back a couple of steps to the 10 meters crouch down let's see how close we can get this time last time we got to about three meters how close do we get this time Pretty much identical so there you go it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever whether you're in broad daylight whether you've got your helmet light mod on or off 
it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever to your stealth right so this brings me on to the last point of the video which is talking about the books there's a couple of different books that will really help you obviously the night stalker books there's actually quite a few good little perks in this book one of the best one though is book number two sneaking five percent better of a night time so that one's a really good help the Great Heist Volume 6, Use No Stamina While Sneak Sprinting. That is also a very good book that is going to help you with your stealthiness. And the last one is Urban Combat. This one, Sneaking Over Trash, Makes No Sound. That again is also extremely useful. That's if you're sneaking about. If you're just walking around like me, makes no difference that is also another very useful book there we go i want to know what you think about this leave me your comments down below i've never really seen a video that has actually gone into how stealth actually works so i hope this has given you a bit of insight it's given me a lot of insight because i didn't know before making this video actually looking at the real stats and what is actually going to help you sneaking about and what doesn't that's all from me as always big thumbs up on the video you guys have a cracking day and i'll catch you guys in the next episode don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you later